A uh, person who, at this point, looks like he was rejected from a children's educational television show. <laughs> it's going to be a uh, person whose last name I don't know off the top of my head, uh, but first name is really easy. It's Tristan Bowling. <laughs> How we doing, huh? I do. I do look like the spunky friend, and like everyone is be like, ah, oh, let's go to the park. It's like we can't. It's after dark. <laughs> I'm peer pressuring kids. That's the reality of it. All right, you ready? We're gonna, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tell some really shitty jokes, and then he's gonna play sick guitar riffs over the front of it. You guys ready for that, huh? Yeah. Ready for whatever this is about to be? All right. Um, joke number one. What'd you call a member of the Third Reich with the sniffles? A snotsy. <laughs> What's... <laughs> Do you think people who own dogs and cats just have really shitty petting zoos? Do you think that <laughs> do you think that the Ku Klux Klan's math department is called K cubed? <laughs> Another math joke. Prepare. Uh, <laughs> what's the most famous? Uh, what's the no, blah. What's the tallest? Um, fuck. How's it? Got it. What is? <laughs> What is the tallest animal at the math zoo? The giraffe. <laughs> Not what I was going <laughs> no, no, Thank you so much, though. Thank you. That's all I need. Awesome. Uh -huh. I'm out of here. You're out of here. That was great. Big round of applause. Big round of applause. Doing an awesome job. Practice for a long time for that. <laughs> <laughs> it was your big break, kid. You didn't blow it. Guys rocking the middies. It's midi weather. Guys, I, I realize I look like a gay lobster. It's fine. I get it. I don't know. Um, I was talking to my sister's girlfriend recently. Girlfriend? Huh? Yeah, I was talking to my sister's... I was talking to my sister's girlfriend recently, and she's like, Hey, Tristan, uh, you know that pussy and pussy are spelled the exact same way? Which has just ruined multiple nights for me. Because, like, you're texting your girl, things are getting serious. It's like, oh, babe... I wish you were here. It's like, oh yeah, what would we do? Oh, I'll tell you what we would do. I want you to take off my pants. Ooh, I'm gonna take off them pants. You damn right, you can take off these pants. Then slide, so seductively slide your hand into my just, just, just sopping wet pussy. I'm like, mmm, that's called an infection. If that's wet. If it's pussy and wet, that's an infection. Don't want to stick anything near that. It's like, oh. I want you to stick your dick in my pussy. It's like, I know what to stick in there. It's a mitocrotazone, you know? <laughs> it may be bubble, maybe fizz. Fun for the whole family. <laughs> Everyone gather around mom. She's got sores. <laughs> Making a jacuzzi. No, but I have a girlfriend, which is, oh, I caught one. Not literally, but I caught one. Um, no nets. No nets. Don't fly that way. Well, smoke directly in my face. Live and it. Um, no, I have a girlfriend. And uh, I, I, started, I started spicing up the bedroom, you know, started bringing Guy Fieri quotes into the bedroom, you know, as, as one would do. You know, just really, again, really sensual time. Just, oh, yeah. It's getting hot and bothered. There's candles, a lot of candles. A lot of candle putting out is going to happen after we're done having... You ever think just like... Because as soon as... Like, if girls don't know, but as soon as a man, like, ejaculates, like, mind is cleared, the sun is brighter. And it is like, what was just like a... Turns into like, oh, introspective. What was the stars? Like... <laughs> So, like, I can imagine some dude just, like, pumping one into his... That's gross. That's gross terminology. Pumping one into his wife. Blurp. But, like... 
he just got down. He's just like, oh, yeah, that was fun. So many candles. Is this a cathedral? It feels like a cathedral. <laughs> no, but just like a whole bunch of candles are screwing about. It's like B&B is, but not B&B, R&B is playing. Not B, not bed and breakfast is playing. Ooh, yeah, sweet, sweet bed and breakfast. So would you like your eggs sunny side up or down? No one here is fucked an egg. I get it. I get it. One of the only ones. Oh, man. People are like, don't do the egg fucking joke. And I'm like, I will find the person. <laughs> I'm scrambling them. I'm going to be... <laughs> no, but just your, your man is between your bits. Just fiddling, fiddling between your bits. And he comes up. He's like, baby, that was some slamming salmon. Ah, uh, yeah, if you don't ejaculate immediately, I don't know how to help you. It's like, mm, you took him to Flavortown. You did first, he got on that bus. First, first, first class tickets, Flavortown. I get it. <laughs> oh. Dodging embers. Oh. Fucking A. God is heckling me. Um, I used to live in... Uh, I used to live in Orlando, Florida, which is super fun. It's not. It's like, yeah, it's awful. It's like, I mean, Florida regularly is awful, but it's like a bunch of people not doing, knowing what they're doing just stirred into that gumbo. Jeez Louise, we got a party. Like, it's awful. Like, everyone doesn't know how to drive, which is fun. And uh, I remember when, in like, I lived right across the street from Disneyland, so we got the worst of it. And I was at our local Wendy's. And, like, all the d people were in there, like, oh, uh, dumb dick family 2016 vacation. They're all their shirts are the same color because how is everyone going to know that we're fucking stupid? Like, <laughs> fucking <serious. laughs> Smoke. But um, I was standing there probably higher than I needed to be. And, and this whole family is in there fiddling. It's the touchscreen soda fountain that they got. And for some reason, that's now a modern marvel. They're like, come here. God, we don't got to go to the well no more. They got cherry soda, vanilla soda. They got cherry crush. Call the fucking mayor. We got, holy shit, Canada Dry. Can <laughs> Canada Dry. Man, it's a cherry. We got regular Canada Dry. They got Dasani lemon lime for whatever queer gets sparkling Dasani. Am I right? It's so, oh, fuck. It's just, oh, man. What are you going to get? Oh, I'm going to get vanilla crush. And I'm going to get regular crush. And I'm going to get cherry Coke. And I'm going to get uh, just, just aqua marine. It's like, that tastes like shit. You've made shit. You've given, you took in a good thing and you made it awful. I'm upset about sodas. <laughs> All right, um, uh, let me, let me try to think. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get out of here on this. Hair's being a real mess right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'll get out of here on, uh, this little ditty. Uh, my dad, this isn't even a joke. It's just a fact. My dad is super into conspiracy theories, which is so fun, which is just, boy, is it just so fun growing up with just an overall sense of paranoia. Jeez Louise, doesn't, the childhood is so great, just knowing that everything is trying to hurt you. It is, ah, oh, in 2011, my dad bought $2,300 worth of canned food in preparation for 2012. Guess what? We still have $2,300 worth of canned food in our laundry room. In 2011, I didn't have a bed. <laughs> But for some reason, oh man, we need one year's worth of food for a family of four. Boy, oh boy, dad, you just made the right decisions. Mmm, scoliosis. It tastes like scoliosis. <laughs> we bought a dog. The dog got a bed. <laughs> we bought a washer, a dryer, and a dog. It wasn't until I'm like, hey, you know how we're spending $300 on a thing that's not in the family? <laughs> I've been here this whole time. I feel like I have some RSV. She's like, oh, Tristan. Well, she walked into my, my mom walked into my room. She's like, oh, fuck, we don't have a bed for you yet. I'm like, mm -hmm, I know. I get it. Do you know what? My back still hurts. My back, I can't touch my toes. Blame that on just the overall doughy non-exercise that I do. 
All right, that's been my time. Thank you so much. My name is Tristan Bowling. Have a great night. That was an excellent set. I'm sorry that...